Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Kriva. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, playing as the 13 colonies. And we're on our way to forming the US of A. We are now at a 38% liberty desire, which gives us a lot of uh, maintenance modifiers and general manpower modifiers. Uh, we do need some more manpower once again. We need to expand our army as well. We have a force limit of 50 right now. And naval, it's 82. Still nothing compared to our overlord, which should look at military. So when we look at Great Britain, might as well use this. They currently have a 81,000 standing army. And they have 190 ships. Which of which are 42 are heavy ships. We're definitely going to need the help of France in a war for independence. But it will be a while before we can even get to that point. Anyway, we uh, last time we took Kanoha and Kentucky from the Shawnee. And they were forced to release uh, Aerie and the Miami. I don't think so. I don't think they had to release the Miami. But the... Whatever was there left, the Potawatomi and the... Probably was the Miami, but they already took over the Illiniwek. So they already... Yeah, there was already another war between these guys. It's a little bit silly, maybe, but oh well. And I think this is the uh, the border of the United States and Canada. And then, of course, here the lakes with... This is... These two are Michigan. This uh, these three are Illinois. Then here's Wisconsin. All these states, and of course, actual Canada would be uh, going right here, and then up through. <clears throat> here is where uh, Niagara Falls are, I believe. It's this one here, and then of course, the country goes on and up here. So this is actually supposed to be Canada as well, but. We didn't care that much. We just took it. Oh, we have some revolts in uh, Kentucky. And we have grain, of all things, in uh, Minnesota. Of course, it's grain. Oh, right. That's... Ah, so that silly bug with the... Um, a lot being locked out out of these provinces has resolved itself, which is good. Um, army maintenance, maybe a bit, little bit higher. Wow. Not having that uh, second colony really gives us a lot of money. Colonists rush. More colonists. Really good. Settler increase and everything. Very running Kanoha. Let's follow. We have a free advisor slot. Are we still looking to make money? What? No, we're not. We're trying to fortify Iowa, which we should be doing right now. That's a good thing. There we go. Rebels have been taken care of. Let's send the army back to Munsee. It's uh, only two places where you have a revolt risk. Ah, Colonists has arrived in Fox. Very well. And ungrateful natives rise. Oh, you guys move to Fox, please. Oh, there we go. Uh, Minnesotans. Yeah, growth is now 29 per year. 32 even here. What's the difference? Ah, this is an uh, Arctic province. More natives in Fox. Handled easily. Yeah, so the higher our uh, uh, liberty desire, the cheaper my army becomes even so that's interestingly handy um, do we have any unique buildings we can build a fine arts academy a march and an embassy embassy would not be a miss having that extra diplomat in the end is really good of course a fine arts academy is also brilliant it's just a standard five percent reduction for the rest of the game but it's still quite expensive too I think, uh, yeah, once we're done with the mint in Manhattan, we definitely have to build a star fort. I mean, if we are going to go independent against uh, the UK and all its subsidiaries around us, then we are definitely going to need some places where we can uh, keep our fortresses stockpiled. Uh, manpower not. Huh. 313 each month, so we might... Armories are possibly also necessary, and barracks and everything above. 29 increase everywhere if we were to build them, and they're pretty much useful to build. Um, Tech-wise, we are close to getting the next level. Then again, we don't have that much military power to begin with. 
So maybe it is time to actually hire myself another... Um, ah, very good. Army tradition and manpower. Just a straight up manpower. Fortify threatened border. Uh, have a star fort. Our neighbor seems hostile. Improving our fort would make us feel safer. Mission successful when the criteria are met. Oh, Chero have a... in Chero. Where is that then? Chero. Oh, over here. Okay, so if we have a star fort there, we get five uh, improved. Star fort is also five. Grand Navy, I would love to do that one. But, and again, uh, as I said last time, we are close to getting the new ones. So I'm going to fortify Susquehanna for the uh, increase, and I'm also going to fortify Manhattan as well. Susquehanna for the mission, Manhattan, because it's our capital, really needs to have one. So, plus five, 855 five now. Yeah, it's, it's okay that you always get at least one with four when you have a new uh, governor in the nation. He is 35, so that should last a long time. Hmm. Of course, waiting for uh, other stuff. Right, last time we boosted our production efficiency heavily with... Uh, where is it? Here it is. Finishing up economic ideas. Only have innovative left, which... Uh, advisors costs. It's, uh, it's a money increase. I think that's both hiring as well as monthly cost of them, which is good. Uh, but I think we'll have to focus a little bit more on um, technology for now, at least. Gonna get military in a year, I think. Yeah, need 60 more. So a year from now, April 77. 1677, that is. And diplomatic is 200 points away. 200 points is 40 months. So that's over three years. But we might get uh, some events that give us free uh, bonuses as well, so that's useful. 339 each month, it's still not a lot. I want to save my money for when we can buy the heavy ships, because we're going to need a lot of more heavy ships. I wonder, yeah, we really need to have... Oh, Miami have been annexed by the Iroquois, so they are now the strongest native uh, in the land maybe we can go and that's a very interesting one what if we are yes let's improve relations let's make them our allies in the upcoming war against britain that might actually be worthwhile of course they are occupying these territories now as well i've expanded a little bit oh portugal you are so screwed aren't you uh, Portugal, well, is at three stability, but that's impressive. Accommodation with natives, uh, lose one ferocity. Uh, it's not that big a deal. Uh, ferocity means how hard they will fight, uh, how many settlers they will kill, and aggressiveness means basically how much chance it is that they will rise up and do it. A new coin, ooh. In times past, the governor used to be on the reverse side of the coins. Now the Republic rejects such personality cults. If we were to issue a high-priority coin, we could improve people's faith in the coinage. And of course, all should remember who did this. Um, let the coins be issued. Um, lose Republican tradition. We will reject the reform. I don't want to lose my tradition right now. And inflation can be... Yeah, it's lowered automatically anyway. Min minus 0.2 a year, so that's gone in 10 years. And if it goes up even more, then I can just pay some admin power and it's gone as well. So I don't see the biggest problem. How is our trade doing anyway? Five, we're transferring five upstream towards here, but everyone is moving it out. Hmm. That is of course a pain. Ah, we have boosted defensive. Uh, lost colonial conquest against the Pawnee. Interesting. Did uh, what happened there? Oh, that's them. Okay. Um, Grand fleet, fortify threatened border, or achieve religious unity. I think with just one to convert and at almost done with the coring, I can definitely get uh, 
some free has <laughs> some free diplomatic and administrative points in no time whatsoever. So I'll send in the missionary once the coring is complete in Kentucky and then that should be it. It really is that simple. Free free points. And it's diplomatic points, that's five months worth for maybe just over a year of work of doing a specific thing, what I, what, which I was going to do anyway, you know. It's not like it's going to be weird doing this. Um, France still doesn't like us. We are apparently hostile towards us. Hmm. They have a causes belly. They are colonialist right now, which is, of course, ee, scary, but it is indeed April, so military level up. Gets us some new infantry choices, which is good, and can build a war college. Um, let's see, which one is the best? Reform Tertio? No, I think Gustavian is the best one. It's a um, Swedish type, it seems. Yeah, Tertio is, I think, indeed Spanish. Highlanders, is, of course, are Scottish. The Scottish Highlanders. So, oh, they have very high offensive morale. But I think the Gustavians are the better ones to take. Definitely. 666 colonists in Minnesota. I want to point your attention at that for now. It's a lot. Okay, so the Iroquois are almost complete. They only need the Shawnee territory and they are have everything here. Do they have any ideas? Well, whoa, tech-wise they are quite up high. Huh. It's actually quite scary. Natives rise again. They're actually quite scary. Ooh, New Jersey is the culture we desire. Which uh, should allow us more tax income. Mm -hmm. Revolts are still possible. That should soon die off. When the core is done and when the missionary is done, it should be fine. Ooh, 100 free population in Fox. What do we get for a resource? Hopefully something that's making me money and not necessarily grain. Yeah. Ooh, demand is higher than supply though, so grain is still useful to have. Still nothing in Fox. Huh. So how are the Iroquois feeling now? Plus nine already, wow. Okay, um dynastic we cannot Make a royal marriage. Fur! No, that's actually what I wanted. Protectorate is impossible because they are too technologically advanced. Vassalization, obviously not the same religion. Cannot enter royal marriage. More natives in Minnesota. They really, really are pissed off. Ooh. They would accept an alliance from us now. Really, because they feel... Uh, Army strength of us and threatened attitude. Yeah, they, they are scared of us, basically. Kanoha is now converted. That's very well. And 10 diplomatic power. I will convert you to my side. Where was the expensive one? Wasn't that Chesapeake? Nope, they're already busy here. Hang on, let's check culture. Um, let's keep him. It's not that expensive. And we get more points for a long time. Abenaki, that's the one. Yeah, 75 to convert them. Here we go, religious unity for free. Could do knowledge transfer, but I'd rather wait for some tech. Right now. Um, hang on. Never have too much manpower. It's useful. Improve defenses in New Jersey. More army tradition. Construct a grand fleet. Construct a proper fleet. Oof, I like both of them. But getting to 75%, yeah, construct a Grand Fleet is easier right now because we are closer to getting 10 more heavy ships than the other one. How long for the technology? Yeah, I'm gonna do the improved defenses in New Jersey now. There we go, that should be done soon enough. And then take Grand Fleet next. Lenape is still allied for some weird reason. Hmm. Maybe I should re uh, make them our uh, protectorate. Still the North American tech group. 
Um, hang on. How much? You're still at minus though towards us. Huh. Ungrateful natives again in Minnesota. They really are ungrateful, aren't they? You know what? You come home for now. Let's see if I can actually establish that protectorate. Yeah, sure. Let's do it then. The once in a lifetime opportunity to become our protectorate. Lost the colonial conquest against them. Um, yeah, this is so weird. Strategic interest. They don't want those things. Could give them a gift, but... Oh, well, we can offer them an alliance, apparently, still. Huh, that's weird. There we go, Iroquois are now in an, inter in an alliance with us. It's not that I don't want the territory, which I do. Trust me, I want the territory very much. But I don't want need it right now. 25% neighbor bonus. That's ridiculous, actually. Um, by the way, just improve more with them. Get them up very high. So they will actually... Yeah, this is actually a good ally. It's a... Uh, they only border the Hudson's Bay Company. I do like that I named that that instead of Newfoundland. Because this would all be Newfoundland. Well, in fact, Newfoundland has only really been this area. This was all French territory, Quebec. But this up here was actually the Hudson's Bay Company. Oh, yes. I do like my stability. Hudson's Bay Company actually reached all the way to what is their Spain. National Decisions. Sunday Schools. Missionary Strength plus one. Uh, it doesn't give me any negatives, so I might as well pull it, uh, pull that trigger. So. Missionary Strength up. Ah, here we go. Ooh, administrative Tech. Yes, please. Cathedral and a Stock Exchange. Now, we have a base tax of seven. How much would the stock exchange don't have the hetman power right now i'm not gonna build it right now but how much would 12.8 that's a ducat a, a month that's a ducat a month increase 12.8 it costs 400 that is 30 more or less than no it's 30 it's 31 or 32 years to repay itself at our current tax income that is significant but we're going to build uh, five, uh, 10 heavy ships first as soon as we finish uh, the New Jersey building. Needs a couple more days. It's been very peaceful around here. Accommodating natives does help, of course. An excellent year. More manpower. Yes, please. Ah, here it is. Galleons and early frigates. Now going to be war galleons and regular frigates. Also naval maintenance increase. It will hurt a little bit, I suppose. Not that much, actually. It's okay. Huh. Native assimilation Minnesota. Very well. Ooh, self-sustaining. Excellent. Um, construct a grand fleet. Placate, placate France. Can I even do that? I don't think I can. Not being a different religion and everything, but create a grand fleet. Gain 10 navy tradition, gain 10 prestige. Also, we have finished naval ideas, so our ships are actually only 40 each to build. War galleons, here we go. 35, I will build two here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here we go, and let's build five more regular frigates as well while we're at it. One, two, three, four, and five. Lots of ships. We have a claim on Oneida, but... Hmm, okay. So we now are building lots of more ships. Does that get us to 75% of our force limit in Navy? Uh, we are building 15, which gets us to 57. 66 is 75%, so actually, no. Actually, be just uh, under it. Yeah, I know I can have another colonist out there, but kind of stuck right now. Um, I want to go back here, and we first need this one to be ours and cord as well. You can actually go to Fox now. Then you there, build me an Earth rampart because you are. 
very far away, actually. Huh. Ungrateful natives of Fox, but that's why we now have two forces there. Winnebago and Sook, Dakota, Nakoda, Omaha, Pawnee. A lot more down here. Pawnee. Wow, they're all the way from here, I guess. That's far. Ma there are many native tribes, so... Uh, yeah, and there's the Hudson's Bay as kind of invaded down here. English Mexico. Um, let's see, colonial regions. Ah, yeah, there's actually the maximum size that English Mexico can become. And back here it's California, and up here it's actually Alaska. Oh, hello, Portugal is working there as well. Spain is done for now. Then there's the Squamish and the Salish. And this is Washington, this is British Columbia. Vancouver region with the Squamish. Anyway, um, can I build a building in... Oh, we need more cash to build any of these right now. Local tax modifier plus 20%? Oh, hell yes. Um, yeah, I do like the spy agency. I mean, these two buildings, courthouses and spy agency, are usually a bit left on the side, but they are actually still useful. Um, you can all come to mobile. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, recall him for now. Did one of them? No, I got all of them. You can also come to... Uh, let's go to the Chesapeake then. Once the fifth one is there, I will uh, combine in with Adam Brock here. To make a one big happy fleet. There we go. Ah, one heavy ship has arrived. Oh, no, we needed you to combine, nothing else. Okay, that's the end of the year. It's now 1680. Mr. Brock, you are going everywhere. Once you pass Chesapeake, I want you inside. I don't want them to be doing that at the turn of the month, though. That's a perfect timing. Here we go, 20 ships. Let's start patrolling in our own zone. Chesapeake Bay should actually give me even more. It should keep more trade at home, actually. Oh, God. Now it's up to, of course, Great Britain's power as well. Annoyingly so. Ah, okay, so our level 3s. A promising Admiral. Ooh, level 50. That's, come on, is it better than the one I have? Actually, no. I need maneuver, but since I don't, I want my military points right now, so I'm going to have to kick him out again. Um, Manhattan, everyone. Let's go back to the political map mode. Our war galleons currently are quite strong. This is our last ship, if all goes well. 19, and we do have uh, some Carracks and regular Galleons. We have 5 guess, five Carracks, 5 Galleons, and now soon 10 War Galleons. The Grasse Dieu and the Harlem. Those are foreign names. Oh yeah. A French and a Dutch name. Now we are allied with the Iroquois. We could support rebels in their country, not that they will like that. Um, that will never happen. That will definitely never happen. Oh well. At least we're now happy and buddies. Let's be buddies, guys. Yeah. Ooh, almost done in Fox with our colony. Hopefully, yeah, it should be before these two settlers get a free. Unless they get really lucky on their percentage gains. But we have 48% chance that we get an extra group going there to Fox. 903 right now. Uh, uh, come on, build me this ship. 3, 2, 1, done. And we have constructed a grand fleet. Well, grand ish fleet. Fortify Konoha, Earth Rampart. Ooh. Wida or Maryland. Um, I'd rather do the fortifying one that gives us extra manpower as well. 
free manpower, you mean, seriously, why wouldn't you take it? Especially if you're going to try and become a major power. Um, merchants suffering, give them support, it's only 10 diplo power. Uh, training fields, barracks, ooh, I want barracks in Manhattan. Also want a stock exchange in Manhattan, but... Treasury, counting house... Workshop constables. They are worth some money at least. Naval force limits. Temples. I can build temples. Oh my. They're actually worth a lot. 166 times 40 is actually 30 years to repay themselves. Since we have more. We have 140 to play, so. It will in the long run repay itself significantly and we have our better fleet so what is our force limits now looking like ah there we go fox is self-sustaining um 57 out of 88 ships and 34 out of 50 in army send someone to both of these one go north one go east is gonna finish up. I'm gonna take Menominee and Michigan hopefully too, but I'm gonna leave salt for the other guy. Makes it look a little bit better, you know. The world. Oh! The Shawnee are gone too now. We have uh, the Iroquois taking over all that territory. It's a very big Iroquois, by the way. Jeez. Okay, let's build a temple in Fox as well. We'll probably get missions to do the fortifying, which gives us more manpower as well, which is also good. Anyway, 13 colonies, almost at its um, final size, I suppose. Here we go, Winnebago. Oh, we actually discover the Lake Michigan. Yeah, here, here is Chicago. Or is it here? It's somewhere here on this part of the coast. And we have Sauk as well, and we have discovered Lake superior as well very good yeah it's looking decent we have two places left to um, colonize well in fact three but the Iroquois are a little bit in the way so that's um, unfortunate Great Britain is almost done with these two as well which is good for them but now we just have to wait basically for that liberty desire to rise enough and I think yep Hudson's Bay Company is once again at war with Labrador. I wonder how long it will take before we are at war as well with Portugal. Again. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm -hmm. Auto saving once more. There we go. 4th of July. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to pause most episodes now on the 4th of July. So... Maybe that is something to think about for in the future.